Issues by Mwashimiwa Peter Msigwa. Thank you very much. Thank who's you. the Member of Parliament for Iringa and he's also the Shadow Minister for Foreign Affairs in his country. As well as Mwashimiwa, God bless Lema, who's the MP for Arusha. Asante Nisana for you. joining us here. Um, I think uh, I would like to start with you, Mwashimiwa Msigwa. Uh, can you tell us the state of uh, Honorable Tundulisu and how he's doing? What's his progress at the moment? Yeah, um, I wouldn't like to go in detail, but uh, I will say he's critical but stable. At least today he got a little bit of tea. So to us, it's a good sign. And we, we, as a preacher also, I consider it as a miracle. But he was badly injured and we thank God that we have reached to this far. All right. yeah. How's his family doing? The wife here, she's very confident and she's sitting around beside the husband. And we are together and the family is doing, he has, uh, Tundulisa has got two boys. Mm -hmm. They're still in Tanzania, but they are okay. Mm -hmm. And the, the relative, the siblings, they're doing fine. All right. We are coping the situation. We also understand his driver was, was also injured uh, in the shooting incident. Can, can you no, tell us about that? No, the driver was not injured, yeah. but we brought in Kenya uh, to get some psychological treatment. So mm -hmm. he's under... Uh, treatment so far in okay. Kenya also. Yeah. All right, yeah. also under treatment, yeah. all right. Yeah. Because the rumors had been going around, uh, Lema, and I know you heard this, and uh, you know how it is with social media about the state of his health, and, and obviously an issue of concern for many Tanzanians. So you can at least confirm here that he is critical but stable. Is he speaking? Have you spoken to him? What is he saying? Yeah, actually we, we, we spoke to him. We have been here for a few days ago until today, and I think me and my fellow brothers will continue to be here for some time until he actually until we make sure that he's going to to be stable enough so he's critical actually he's critical because he's still as icu but he's stable because actually at least he for a moment he can you know he can speak just a little ways he can have some tea that's actually as a reverend he said here that it's a miracle even for us to see tundu actually still going on for his life up to this moment all right yeah. and you're raising funds for him yeah actually we are raising funds actually from different from different from different angle of the countries actually yeah, even here in kenya mm -hmm. some people here in kenya they've helped so much about you know this fundraising donation so you still need money because it's too expensive here at Nairobi Hospital. Mm -hmm. But actually, the matter is not about money. Actually, you know, Tundulu's life he actually is, is so expensive that you cannot compare with any kind of price. So we're still looking for the money. We still do fundraising. Uh, we're still looking for the money for them, different kind of people, even from some kind of an international community. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about you know, the pace of investigations surrounding his shooting. And, and Tundulisu is known to be a very fiery critic of President uh, John Magufuli in Tanzania. Um, what is your assessment of how the investigations are going? Are you satisfied that justice will be done for this incident? Uh, honestly, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Uh, number one, when the incident happened, it took about two hours for the police to arrive at the scene or to, at, at the hospital to see what was going around. Um, so far, I haven't had uh, any arrest. So as a, as a party, really we are uncomfortable the way the government is, is, is handling this matter, uh, considering that he, some few weeks back, Tundulisu complained that there are some guys following him, they are hunting him, and yet there was no any action taken did, by the government. Did he go to the police with, with um, those threats? He was he holding a press, so he could speak openly. Everybody heard what he was saying, mm -hmm. and the, 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 the police never took any action. And he, um, yeah. Do you think the shooting might have anything to do with how outspoken he is? Yes. Yes. Confidently, yes. Yes. Actually, uh, this is a crime organized. This is this is it's a crime organized. These things has not has never been done by the um, I mean I mean this is street bandits. This is crime organized. So actually, that's why if you ask me, uh, do you do you guys believe in po in police investigation? No, we don't believe in state investigation. And you've asked for international investigation. Actually, we ask for international for uh, international interference. But uh, I know that my government cannot accept this. Because we, well, they know that if they're going to accept this, maybe they're going to, they're going, they're going to be on shape by themselves. So they, we don't have a trust with the states, but uh, actually, what are we going to do? 
That's why actually we, 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 we cry so much, we make, we make loud so much so that we can get an interference from international community so that we can get help. So asking for international investigators, whom particularly have you reached out to? Have you reached out to European countries? Have you reached out to the United States? What, no, you, you what, what are you... Who you you are, cannot you, just go to the yeah. international community uh -huh. unless the government allows that. Yeah. So, so far the government doesn't allow that. Yeah. They say we are capable enough to, to do the investigation. So as a party, we, have not that, we don't have that power that we mm -hmm. can just see, mm -hmm. bring like the Scotland Yard come to our country unless the government uh, allows that. As he, uh, if you remember what happened in Kenya, there was a time when you, you invited the international, I mean the Scotland Yard mm -hmm. and they did their job here. Yeah. So unless the, 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 the government allows that, otherwise we are trying to bring awareness and to try to, 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 to ask the government, to seek the government so that they can bring the international communities or like Scotland. And do you think said. they will agree to this? No, they, are, they, they, they don't. Because so where does this leave the state of investigations in your, in your view then? The, the point we are making noises mm -hmm. so that in, in, uh, we are making noise in our country, in our region like in East Africa, you are, you are our neighbors because when Tanzania we are affected, you are affected also. So we, we, we are trying to, 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 to push to, to press on, to make more noises from all angles, to, to, to all angles, to international communities, so that I can hear what's going on in Tanzania. Right. The, 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 the democracy is shrinking in our country. Your final thoughts um, on, on what's happening in the region, um, because we do focus on what's happening in Kenya, Tanzania, uh, Uganda as well. I'd just like to very quickly, uh, Moshimu Amsigwa, get your thoughts on what's happening in Uganda for a moment, because there is that bill that's in parliament uh, to remove the age limit, and mm -hmm. that would then allow uh, President Yoweri Museveni to run again. Uh, for yet another term. What are your thoughts as to what's happening there? I think this is the problem again in our continent. We, uh, we, we, we don't, leaders don't think about a, a, a having exit plan. And we don't want to raise young leaders to take over when we are, we are, we are gone. Uh, I think that's greedy. We have seen the same thing in, 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 in Kagame also. Uh, they want to remain in power for many, many years. So for me, uh, I, I think we should change the way we think, the way we, uh, we, we behave as leaders. There must be a, an exit plan where you think you lead up to this point and you, you raise some young leaders to, to take you over. But uh, I'm really not happy the way uh, Museven is doing and Kagame is doing. That's why... Uh, we have a lot to learn from Kenya. We are putting a good example in, in, the, in the continent, in the world, uh, in totality. Okay, all right, thank you. Your final uh, words? I, I think Kenya has been a good example of democracy in the region. Uh, but as I only actually, the, 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 the limit that I see you have is tribal situation. So if you can overcome that, I think Kenya, you can help, I mean, the regional in a, in a very great manner. So you see there is a problem of democracy in Kigali. In Kigali. There is a problem of democracy in Kampala. There is a problem of democracy now in Dar es Salaam. We have a problem in, in, in Sudan. You know, the only stable country now remains in, 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 in the regional. Actually, you can, you can just say it's only Kenya. So uh, you, have, you, have, you are going to, 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 to the election on the, on the, on the, on the coming months. So we pray that you sail through in a peaceful way so that maybe we, 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 we could start to, start to negotiate the thought of democracy in the regionals. Because as much as I can see now, actually we are going to face a very fundamental problem about democracy in the continent. You see what's happened, actually, you said yourself, you see what's happened in the parliament of Uganda recently. So, so it's a problem right now. It's a problem in Dar es Salaam, it's a problem in Kigali, it's a problem in Kampala. Actually, the only stability that we are looking for and we hope for is you people of Kenya to stay peaceful so that maybe the negotiation will start from Nairobi to have, to have a pure democracy and some strong democracy in all over the countries. Don't let us and, down. And, uh, you know, Raila Shiamemi Uhuru, mm. and he will show that, you know, recently after the, the, the decision of the Supreme Court, you know, it's not easy for the African president to accept the decision from the, from the, from the court while you are in the seat, you, are, you know, you are in the seat. So we seen maybe if he's going to sail through on this election, whoever, 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 but uh, I, I, I wish much lucky to Uhuru. Maybe 
I, will, I would like to see the negotiation, uh, the negotiated point of democracy and the rule of law should be started here at here, Nairobi. In Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah. And you were saying we shouldn't let you down? Yeah, don't let us down. You know you've paid the price to reach where you are. Mm -hmm. Please don't let us down. Okay. We well, want your election to be peacefully, and if we ever win, we would like you to win, but uh, let us Have Kenyans a, a remain peaceful, peacefully free, yeah, so that we can get to learn more stuff from you guys. All right, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much uh, to both of you. And we do continue to wish uh, Honorable Tundulisu um, better health as he continues to recover and all the best with the investigations uh, in your country. Thank you both very Thank much. You. Thank you. Uh, Honorable Peter Msigwa, who's a pastor, yes. MP for Iringa and the Shadow uh, Foreign Affairs Minister, as well as Honorable God Bless. So the Shadow Minister of Home Affairs. Oh, and the Shadow fin <laughs> Minister for Home Affairs and yeah. MP for Arusha as well, yeah. both from the Chama Cha Democracia and Amaendeleo, Chadema in Tanzania. Santini Sana Kwa Thank you.